but we're going to pause from me being a passenger in life and we are actually going to talk about a 4k movie called passengers in this bitch Brass tags. sorry for the delay guys it's been a crazy week crazy 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 week that being said we back so your boy back and you know what that means i can only mean one thing right it's brass tacks in this bitch you already know your boy back back in full effect let's just get on with this bitch Okay, Passengers is set in the future. Movie takes place on a ship which is heading towards a new home transporting 5,000 passengers. They're all in cryo sleep. Something happens which awakens two passengers, Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. And it's just them two woken up 90 years too early in this bitch. The ship is still on its journey to get to wherever it needs to get. Now granted, there's a lot of things you could do on this spaceship. 90 years is 90 years, let's keep it real. What ends up happening though, is they end up falling in love with each other. There's other things that happen in between. They have to end up saving a ship because the ship is heading towards some grave danger in this bitch with the 5,000 passengers life at stake. This movie is a sci-fi romantic movie. I wouldn't say it's a comedy, it's got funny elements in it, but it's not a comedy. It's romantic drama in this bitch. I didn't know what to expect when watching this movie, but I'm glad I watched it because it is a love story. But what it also is, it makes you ask a lot of questions about yourself. Now, I was picturing myself as Chris Pratt. Who wouldn't when Jennifer Lawrence is by his side in this bitch? God damn! But any case, I'm moving like this in this bitch because I don't want to give too much away. You're putting yourself in the shoes of Chris Pratt and he's stuck aboard this ship and you're trying to figure out what the hell to do. You know, and there's something he does which kind of makes you think because you like you understand. Truth be told, if I was in the same situation as he was, I'm gonna keep it so real. I would have done the same thing. I would have done this sooner. And for those of you watching, you know what I mean. I would have done it sooner. I would have done it day two in this bitch. And Jennifer Lawrence, goddamn, I would have done it five minutes in this bitch. Let's just keep it real. But whatever it is, he does it and you do understand where he's coming from. You really do. This movie touches on a lot of topics. Obviously, it touches on relationship, but it also touches on race. Prejudice. There are levels to what people can and can't access based on status. It also touches on death. It touches on loneliness. And it touches on communication. It touches on a lot more other things. That's why I like this movie. There was actually quite a lot of depth to it. Jennifer Lawrence was A1 in this, and she's beautiful. Okay, those are two pluses in my book. And Chris Pratt is amazing in this movie as well. Like I said, people give Chris Pratt a hard time, but you know, dude can act. His acting chops are in full force here. You really do feel for him. And Chris Pratt's a very likable guy. You'd like him from the offset. Do you know what I mean? No homo. Very enjoyable. Eight out of 10. Maybe eight and a half, but eight out of 10. I really liked it. The acting was A1. I can't remember his name because I've seen him in Underworld and a lot of other movies. Uh, that's, that's, um, Kate Beckinsale's X, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, he's awesome as the, as the android. Awesome. Funny as hell. Funny as hell. All the acting is top class in this. You've got some cameos. That's the movie out the way. Let's talk about the transfer. It's decent. It didn't blow me away. There is definitely nice depth in parts. Absolutely. There are shots which are in outer space and certain things that happen in the movie do show it off a little, but nothing's actually popping out of the screen. It's more like you're looking through a window. There is depth, but there is really not a lot of depth. And if it's for sale on 3D, then definitely pick it up. There are so many other 3D Blu-rays which just blow this out of the water. But the best version of watching it is obviously 4K. There is 3D there. There's no ghosting or anything. It is a nice, crisp, clean image, but it's not going to blow you away, folks. Pick it up if you love 3D. Pick it up, but pick it up when it's d heavily discounted. I don't personally feel like that's the best way to watch it. You would think it would be because of sci-fi, but... It really isn't. It's all right. The measuring stick to me right now is Doctor Strange. I think I'd go on record as to say that's probably the best 3D Blu-ray out right now. And it's not even in the same stratosphere. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. It's cool. What do you want me to say? I'm 99% sure about the visual effects. I'm sure it's 2K. I'm sure it's 2K, but I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, don't blame me. Your boy too early with his reviews. Your boy on fire. Your boy just early in the speech. 
Your boy A1 in this bitch. Your boy, I'm gonna stop talking about myself. Let's just get on with the specs. Aspect ratio 2.35.1. Shot in 6.5K. Digital intermediate 4K. Visual effects 2K. Dolby Atmos Sound. Sony have very rarely missed. They've been on a winning streak with 4K Blu-rays. It certainly has not stopped here. Reference quality transfer. Clarity and the details immediately apparent. You see it from the very offset. The detail on the ship, the detail on the actors' faces. Jennifer Lawrence, baby. You look beautiful in 4K, but I'm gonna get to you in a bit. You notice little imperfections on the ship. There's a lot of ornaments. There's a lot of foods looking great in 4K. Just, there's a lot of detail there. It really does stand out. It's one of the first things you notice. You see so much detail in that bitch. It's unbelievable. So yeah, it's definitely a very noticeable uptick in clarity. The black levels are very good. Black looks like it could go on forever. The space looks like it could go on forever. It really does look beautiful. And that with the stars, it's a nice contrast. That's, that's really pushing the HDR to the limits in this bitch. There's some indoor shots where the luminance levels are pretty high. There's a scene where they're in a restaurant eating and it's very dimly lit, but it just looks gorgeous. The HDR also in full effect there. It looks beautiful. That combined with the extra color is also immediately apparent. HDR's A1, color's A1, uh, details A1. In terms of the special effects, I didn't see anything which stood out which looked suspect. It all looked pretty good to me as far as I'm concerned. There's definitely added depth. That's become an expectation of mine with Sony uh, 4K Blu-rays. The depth is A1. When he's walking along the corridors of the ship, there's definitely layers to that bitch, 100%. It looks beautiful, depth is beautiful. There is an explosion of some kind that takes place and the detail in the fire looked gorgeous. It's an A1 disc, people. What do you want me to say? This comes equipped with a Dolby Atmos sound and it is gorgeous. Everything from the subtleties, there's an explosion which almost deafened the fuck out of your boy. The way the sound travels through the room, through activities that Chris Pratt's character is doing, you really feel it from everywhere. There's tremendous details in the mids, highs and lows across the board. Everything from the littlest of, littlest of sounds to the loudest. A1, I love the sound quality and also the music in this is very good. It's soaring like you, you know, sound adds so much to a movie and it really did with this. The surround sounds A1, you feel shit from everywhere. When Jennifer Lawrence is walking away from him, you feel, you feel like she's walking away from you in this bitch. Jennifer Lawrence, baby, you A1, you beautiful in 4K, you amazing. If you happen to be watching this, shout me out, girl. I know you don't want to inbox me because you don't want to fall in love, I understand. But just shout your boy out. Sound is great. I've got to give it to Sony, uh, and it, it doesn't translate over to the UK, but especially the US discs, what they've done is they've bundled all the versions in one. So you get the 3D version, you get the Blu-ray, you get the 4K Blu-ray, you get the digital copy. So you get all of those in, right? And it's a really good package. They did the same thing with Billy Lynn, they did the same thing with Ghostbusters. The movie is a beautiful movie. It's a movie I can personally watch again and again. I'm not really into romantic movies. Well... Oh, I am, but not that much. But it's got all the right elements of everything. Pick it up, people. What are you waiting for? And just to reiterate the point, brass tax, seal of approval. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the love and the support. As always, thanks. If you like the review, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, definitely hit the like button. I will catch up with you guys soon. Brass tax.